people say, oh, it's it's some kind of a water intake for the for the lake, or it's a missile silo, or it's a radar, or something, you know. And it's it's oftentimes people are a little surprised to find out that it's a solar, <laughs> solar observatory. My name is John Varsic, and I'm a research astronomer here at the observatory. This observatory is very unusual. Most people who know anything about observatories will generally think, well, aren't observatories at the tops of mountains? Actually, in the mid-60s, they had a very elaborate site survey, and they looked everywhere from Catalina Island out to the White Mountains. And it turns out that for this kind of observation, Big Bear, in fact, is one of the best places in the world. Being on the lake, the high heat capacity of the water, uh, tends to make the convection above the ground less, which is the big problem in observing the sun from the ground. The sun heats up the ground, you get air turbulence, which distorts the image. It doesn't do it quite as much if you're looking out over the water here. We are operating the highest resolution solar telescope in the world at the moment. Solar astronomy is a small field, and, and so we end up with people who come to the observatory from all over the world. We study the sun, we study the, in particular the, the active regions on the solar surface. The sun is a star, and it's right up close where we can get a good look at it. And so observing the sun tells us a lot about how stars work. And so I like to, to call the sun kind of the Rosetta Stone of astrophysics.